Hey guys, Kid Guru here. Well, today's tech topic, as you see from the title, I want to talk about dual monitors. Well, guys, uh, if you have seen my setup, uh, some of you may have not, but uh, if you've uh, seen it, basically, right now I'm running on a laptop, a desktop computer, and at the moment I'm only using CRTs because one of my flat screens is used some in another room and they need it right now. So I'm just gonna use the old CRT that my that uh, she had. Uh, my sister has it right now, and she has the flat monitor, so uh, I'm just going to use her CRT for the time being as a dual display. First off, I've showed how to do set up dual monitors in the past. Pretty easy. Basically, if you have a laptop, you're all set to go. I'm going to show you how to do, uh, well, you know, in theory, if you have VGA, that's usually CRT in older models, but, you know, nowadays there's HDMI, there's, uh, not HDMI, sorry, there's DVI, uh, there's all that type of stuff, and I have actually a page here that I'll be getting to in a second, what this is all about, but... You know, you get micro DVI, all that type of stuff. Um, but uh, you know, even uh, what is it here? Yeah, H HD, yeah, HDMI even works for you know some higher uh, higher television. You know, you can actually connect through HDMI for their televisions. I think that's or I might be getting mixed up. Who knows? But anyways, uh, basically, if you have a laptop, most likely it came with a secondary monitor port, and it looks basically like a how would I say this? It's usually next to the S video port. It may not be, but it's more of like a little, uh, here, I think I have a, let me actually get this good example up here. This is a motherboard from a Dell Optiplex. Now this is what your, your monitor, your dual monitor port is going to look like. Now, right here, right here where my finger is, let me, the blue port right there. Now it may not have the screws. Mine doesn't have the screws on the sides. Most laptops uh, might not come with some come with them, and uh, some come with them, some don't. Uh, basically, what that is is just so you can screw it in. Some don't, so you just don't even have to screw it in. You just plug it in. And basically, like mine set up right now through uh, VGA, uh, you can plug in, plug it in. Uh, reckon, it should recognize it whenever, uh, whenever you're using Windows or if you're using a Mac, and then. Uh, OS 10, you know, Windows OS 10 should recognize it, and then you can go through your settings through there and set it up. Show which one's your primary if you want to mirror it or extend it. Now you have two options. Well, actually, a couple options. You can mirror it, which is basically you can show the image on your. Let's say you have a smaller screen, like a 13-inch screen. Or actually, I have a what is it? I have a 15-inch screen. So let's say you take this 15-inch screen oh, and then put it over to a uh, let's say a 30-inch screen, right? You you probably want to work better. On, you would work better on the 30-inch screen, so you can mirror it work on there or you can even uh, extend it so you can go from if you drag the window across it would go into the other de monitor now uh, these aren't your only solutions though you don't have to have you know VGA or all those other stuff you can uh, there's other ways to do it uh, if you have a desktop and you don't have uh, an extra e port you may want to look into upgrading your video card to get you know one, the ones that support t dual monitors or you know upgrading it uh, NVIDIA ATI both make cards uh, cards that uh, support dual monitors so check that out uh, you can also buy if you don't have like uh, if you have DVI and you need a VGA you know you can get adapters a lot of adapters I would recommend using Newegg.com or you know just Tiger Direct all those sites have great wherever you like to shop wherever you trust uh, look for adapters and also this was something I was uh, thinking about I didn't know they actually made these I was going to research it but I saw one today I was, I was looking through uh, the text store with a friend um, USB to VGA. They don't have them DVR or HDMI yet, I think, but they have them to VGA. VGA is a little older, but most monitors still work on VGA. So basically, you plug in the USB port, and it has like a little, kind of like looks like a USB hub. If I had one, I would. Here, yeah, I have a USB hub right here. It's not, you know, this small. You know, some are big, some are clunk, some are clunky, some are, you know, huge. But basically, you plug a USB in, it has a hub right here. That has one whole VGA port. You could uh, take another monitor's wire, VGA wire, plug it in there, and it would work like a dual monitor. You don't need a, you don't need a upgraded video card. It all works from USB. So you just connect the USB, plug in the monitor cord, and it's connected to your whatever uh, your USB is plugged into as a dual monitor. So you can go that route. Uh, I just found some on Newegg.com here. They they're you know they range from a uh, Sixty to a hundred dollars. You know, there's I'm sure you can find better deals. Uh, they have sixty-nine dollar one right here, 
made by there's you know there's gonna be a uh, different type of brands. I saw one by made by Manhattan. They're a pretty good brand, but mine at the store cost 101 bucks. So yeah, but the one at my store is like it's not like most of these look like the huge brick. This one was like really small. It was really cool. So I never realized that they made these, and it's a great alternative. And you can I think you can plug maybe two or three in. But you know, US, I read somewhere about you uh, what would be your limitations, and somebody said something about USB bandwidth. So you gotta see how much you're outputting through these USB ports. You wouldn't want to put like a whole bunch of them. I thought you could plug a whole bunch of them, but you know, it really depends. Uh, and you know, if you can't do it, so I've showed a lot of hardware ways. You can do it laptop, you're all set to go most likely. Desktop, you can upgrade your video card. You can get a USB to VGA adapter. You can get adapters if you like have, for example, if you have a V, if you have a HD or a DVI uh, connector you have to use but the monitor only supports VGA you can go through uh, VGA through DVI adapters you can do stuff like that but there's also the software way and I found a really cool thing when I was searching Google called maxivista.com so don't type in M-A-X-I vista.com yeah it's for Vista but it's actually a really cool thing that he uh, they've established here now it's not free they have a free version and you can actually uh, buy it after that Basically, let's say you have a laptop and a desktop, or it can be a laptop and a laptop, a desktop and a desktop, whatever. Uh, you set up the software on it, and it connects to your network. You set up the software, I bet, on the other side, I would guess. And basically, it tricks Windows into thinking that it's connected to the network. This monitor is connected to the network, and it's hooked up and installed on your machine. So it's tricking, let's say if you install on your laptop, it's tricking it into thinking that your laptop has uh, another monitor attached to it even though it doesn't. So no no cords. Uh, what it's, it even says it has a great page right here. High performance, perfect display quality, no no cords, easy install, and low CPU use, utilization. Windows multi monitor support, safe operation. Uh, so you know uh, basically, as I said, it fools you it fools one machine into thinking it has a monitor set up to it. On the other end, through the wirelessly or you know through the network. It's telling the other monitor that's hooked up to this other, to whatever base station you're using it on. So it's kind of like connecting through with it wirelessly and network, and in collaboration that it's a uh, you know as a working as a dual monitor right through you know wireless, and so there's no cords, just this piece of software is connecting through both computers. So it's going to use your let's say it's laptop to desktop. It's going to use your desktop monitor. It's going to trick the desktop into using its monitor, switching it off and using it to uh, turning it to the. Uh, let's say you have, I have Vista laptop XP desktop. Let's, it would trick XP into thinking that it was using Vista's dual monitor extension. It's kind of confusing, but uh, if you get it, you know, basically you have a uh, Vista right here, right? You have uh, XP right here. And let's say you want dual monitors through Vista to XP, but you know that you would, XP has a monitor, Vista has a monitor. You would use the software on both computers. Vista would trick would get tricked into thinking that it's connected to dual monitors. XP would go off XP and using the software would think it was on Vista and run dual monitors between the two. Now as for XP on this machine, it would still be there but you wouldn't be in uh, you wouldn't be able to use the monitor as of right there because you know you're using it as a dual dual display. So it's really, really cool. It's connecting totally wirelessly through the network. You one you're gonna lose a lot of cords. Let me tell you guys, these VGA cords, these uh you know they're huge, they're clunky, they're, you know, they're really, they take up space. So, uh, you know, that's a great piece of software. Like I said, it's not free, but uh, it does have, you know, uh, I have, a, I studied a couple, I just, by reading the front page, it's, it's $29.95, and it says here that you can do clipboard sharing, keyboard and mouse switch, multi-monitor, desktop screen cloning, so you have a lot of stuff to do. And it's recommended by Scene and, uh, CNET PC World, a whole bunch of different uh, places. You can even double check if you if you don't feel secure. I'll, I'll look more into it because I just found it recently. I'll look more into it. Uh, I'll look through CNET as I always trust CNET. But so there's a software way too. And if you're running on XP, I showed also a way to do it with a power toy made by Microsoft called what is it? Virtual Desktop. You can actually like run four desktops in one, just like equivalent to OS X Spaces, but Spaces is well may well way more put out. So anyways guys, that's a technology topic on dual monitors, hardware, software, adapter way, all the ways you can possibly think of, basically give you sum up how to do it, great tricks to do it, great hardware to buy, great software to check out, and you know guys, uh, whether you're running Windows, whether you're running OS X, whether you're running Linux, you know, make sure you check this out, because 
dual monitors can really increase productivity by giving you one more space, uh, or yeah, one more space, easier to manage your stuff, and you know, really makes a. Uh, if you're a multitasker, everything's much easier, and you can really uh, interpret thing between interpret things easier between two uh, d displays because you can separate stuff, organize easier. Anyways, guys, that's tech topic for today. Hope you enjoyed. And by the way, this is 201 video, so you've, you're watching the previous video of my 200th video, this is the uh, accomplice to it. So basically guys, I want to thank you for everything you've done. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe.